When you send out an invitation for a Forms Pro survey, then what happens is it creates a survey invite record, which is an activity, um, and it puts it into CDS. So the survey invite has a status, survey invite status, which you can see here. And as soon as it's sent, then it gets that as the status. Then when the contact clicks on the link, go ahead and fills out the survey and that comes back in, it changes and sets it as responded. So we know that the person's actually completed that. Now there's going to be occasion where you send out requests for surveys and you'd really like to get that feedback. You might want to go ahead and send out a reminder if someone hasn't completed the survey after X number of days. All right, so how can we go ahead and do that? Let's look at Microsoft Flow. So we've got a flow that's set up here, quite straightforward. What we're doing first of all is we're doing a trigger with a recurrence. So I'm set, I've am set. i set this to run every single day at nine o'clock. So it's run at nine o'clock every day. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in an action and that action is going to be a date and time action and we're going to do get past time. Now, when we do get past time, what we can do is we can say, all right, well, what's the time unit? The time unit can be months, days, weeks, hours, and so on. So we want to look back X number of days in the past. So for this, I've used seven, but that's just because that's my test data. And I know that I have something that wasn't responded to that's seven days old. So it could be that your wait time is three days, five days, depending on the um, level of importance of that survey response. It could be about an event that you've just ha just had. It could be something where you want to get feedback based on an accident. It could be feedback based on something that's got a, a, a certain sense of urgency. So set that interval um, based on, on what's relevant to your organization. Then what we're going to do is we are going to do a list record step. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to set a filter query and we're going to use MSFP invite status. So that's this invite status that I've shown you. Um, we want to find those that equal the value of this and that value is basically sent. In other words, it's not actually being responded to. And then what we also want to do is we need to put in a bit of a format on this date that comes back okay and we want to make sure that the created on date of the um, of the survey invite equals the cre the date that we've just created here for the past date here so in other words seven days ago we want to get that date from seven days ago and we want to go ahead and do an expression to format this past date that comes back and we're going to format that into year month and day because this step right here and we'll have this in the in the body of the blog post so you can copy from there but this right here that created on that will come back in year month day and we can basically match and say do those things um, equal one another so in other words we want to find any survey invite records that meet that same date and time and that have not already been responded to okay then what we're going to do is we are going to do a step and we're going to format the created date because we're going to put that within the body of the email and we don't want to send something that's just got a long um, date with um, the long timestamp that gets put into the database. So we're just going to format and say, right, we want to send it and say, we've already sent you this on such and such a date. So we're just going to format the created date of the invite. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use our list record step. I'm going to do that again. And this time we're going to list the activity parties. Um, and then we're going to use the activity ID value equals the activity of the survey invite. Now, when we put this in here, um, we're basically um, looking to see, sorry, we're looking to find all of the activity parties of so all of the people that are related to a specific activity for all of these survey invites that we found. And the participation type mask equals two that's basically saying find the person that the invite was sent to. So not the person that sent it, nobody else, but who was that sent to. So that's going to be our contact. Then what we're going to do is for each of those that are found, so in other words, each, um, each party member, so essentially that's each contact, we're basically going to send them an email and ask them to fill out the survey. So what we're going to do is we've got that contact using that party ID from from this list party 
list activity party step. So we've got our contact, then we're going to create an email to send out and we're going to send it to the email address that's on that contact step. We're going to say hi first name on and that's where we're using that converted time so that again the date makes sense. On this date we sent you an email requesting feedback. Your opinion is very important to us. Would you have a few minutes to complete it? The link to the survey can be found below. Now here is where we're basically um, getting the survey invitation URL from the survey invite step up here. Okay, Because we don't just want to send them a link to the survey that's not personalized and is not the same because otherwise that's going to potentially, um, if, we, if we create a new invite, that's going to be that now we've got multiple invites out there for them. So we want to use that same survey invitation URL and we can use uh, the ahref tag so that we can then put complete feedback survey in the middle and then close that tag so that it will actually be a hyperlink. Okay, so that will then go ahead and send that reminder email out to that contact. All right, so let's go ahead and we will just test this and we'll run this right now. Go ahead and run the flow. So we can see there that it's basically, it's got the, the date that was seven days ago. So that was the 1st of um, September. It's found any of the records. So it, we found something in there and we're basically saying for each of those survey invites that were found, go ahead and format the date. So we can see there Sunday, September 1st, 2019. List the um, activity parties that were the people that it was sent to and then go ahead, get the contact. So we found it's Jane Doe and let's go ahead and send out that email. So let's go ahead and we should have an email. No, maybe, maybe, come on. Well, we're waiting for that to come through. So in a minute we should get an email and that will basically have our hyperlink in there. Let's see if I've got one that I've had before. Yep, there we go. So hi Jane, on Sunday, September 1st, 2019, we sent you an email, blah, blah, blah. So then if we click on that link, the link that it takes us to has still got that um, personalization in that we might have done before. So it's it's got the same parameters. So we can see there, um, we've got um, the account manager's name listed there. We can see information. So it's the exact same survey that we're sending them the link to. So hopefully this will be of use. It's something that, um, again, you probably want to use sparingly and use when there are surveys that are very important that you get that feedback. You could also do this over a certain number of times. So you want to make sure that, do you want to do a couple of different reminders or is that going to be a bit pushy? Is that going to be something that maybe would annoy your customers and be sending them out too much information or too much prodding? Um, but hopefully this is helpful. Let me know what you think. Go ahead and leave comments below. Thanks. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.